Hi everybody, welcome back. Hope everybody's having a great day wherever you are at. Um, in this video, I'm going to be making a cardboard container. So let me show you the items I'm going to be working with to do it. Alright, so here are the items I'm going to be working with. Okay, I got a pair of scissors. Okay, this is a coffee creamer container. Okay, it looks like this, but the bottom's cut out. We got uh, painter's tape. We got a coffee mate um, screw on lid. And we have a Cool Whip container. Okay, can, can, uh, yeah, oh, sorry, great value uh, whip topping container. And we have our hot glue gun. And we also have our hot glue sticks. Okay, get a better shot of that. Hot glue sticks. Okay, and we also have our cardboard. So we have four pieces of cardboard, okay? This cardboard is gonna be the, um, the walls, okay? And these three pieces of cardboard are gonna, uh, gonna, are gonna be the top and gonna be the bottom, all right? But I'm gonna double the bottom, okay? But not the top, or with topping container, okay? And put it on the pieces of cardboard, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trace it out, okay? There's my, there's my uh, circle. And now I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut. Anybody got any plans for this weekend? Leave a comment below. Curious. Okay, so now that, right, so now that I did the, now I did the, the bottom of it, okay. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do another one of these. Okay, I'm gonna do it out of this one. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna trace the same one, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna trace the same one. Okay, now I cut this one out. Okay, just cut it right down the middle here first. Because I can use that piece. I love make, I love Okay, you're more than welcome to. Okay, so now that we have our two, now we have our two bottoms. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put B for bottom, B for bottom. Okay, now my bottoms are all done. Now, now that my bottoms are all done, now I have to worry about the top. Okay, so again, this is a, uh, a Coffee Mate, okay, uh, screw on lid. Okay, I'm gonna put this right here. Just like that, hold it down, like this, okay, so there's a circle, I'm going to cut this one out, without, without me throwing the scissors here, I guess it didn't complete it all the way through, hold on, it happens, it happens, the main, the main, the main thing is, is that uh, just get it, you know, get as good as I can get it, there we go. There we go. Now I completed the circle. Because, again, I like to save money. I don't like to spend money. But sometimes you gotta spend money, but I try to, uh, I try to, um, try to prevent that. Okay, so now this is, this is gonna be our top. Okay, so now that our top is done, and our two bottoms are done. So now I'm going to do is I'm going to put T for top, or actually I'll just put there top. Okay. Now this this piece of cardboard right here. Now the reason why it looks already folded, okay, because I was going to do something with this and it didn't work out. Now I don't need this whole top. I don't need this wide piece. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it right straight down the middle. Okay because I don't need both pieces right now. I just need the one, the 36 inch. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna make this container, okay, a little bit bigger. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna line it up, okay, because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut along, and then and, and this piece right here that's, that's gonna be cut off, I'm actually going to use this 
but I'm gonna cut it again to make the rim, to make the rim around this. Oh, and now, now what I can do, I can take a pencil, take my pencil, everybody can see that. Okay, I'm gonna hold on to it like this. Okay, and there's my, okay, here's my line. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. Bring it closer. Like that. Okay. All right, I'll take the scissors. And I'm going to cut it right on, right on that line. Right there, that's good. Just, okay, so I'm gonna cut this strip again, but not yet. Okay, so here's my, this is gonna be my wall, all right? So now that this, so now that this is already uh, cut up and done, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is put this, put my wall aside. Now I'm gonna go ahead and trace this out of here. I need it this big. I just need it right like that. Okay, just to try to I'm trying to line it up just you know just good enough to the point to where you know try to look you know line it up to the point to where when I cut it hopefully it'll be cut evenly. So that's that. Okay, now I put pressure on it. Okay, there we go. Now I cut it same exact way. Oop. All right, I cut it same exact way. So here's my, now, I could use this one right here, okay, just got to try to cut it up a little, or just try to clean it up a little bit, get the high, uh, get the high spots off, alright, so I can either use this, or I could use this one, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this one again, and the reason why is because it gives me options, okay, it'll give me an option, to do it okay you know it'll give me an option to you know to do it again because I may want to because if in other words if I cut if I cut this one out and I got two plus this one okay I don't know if I want it I don't I don't know if I want it this thin or if I want it like this or if I'm gonna or like I mentioned cut it again and have another one so let me see what let me see if I can get it a little bit bigger just a little bit bigger than what it is and then I'll do it and then I'll, then I'll sort of basically make up my mind which way I want to go because I don't want it I don't want to do it too big okay there's my line now I go ahead cut it so basically I'm gonna do say now this one right here okay is a little so this is the first one I cut this one's not as wide as this one okay so now we have two different two different uh, two different um two different width uh, two different uh, si um, widths okay and now this one right here actually it's, it's gonna come off a little bit right like this there we go. All right, so now I have this one. So now all I have to do is choose which one I want to do. So I don't know if I want to do this one. So this one's bigger than these two, okay? This one's smaller than all three of them. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this one. All right, now what I have to do is I have to glue the two bottoms together. And now what I need to do is take my hot glue gun and... And that should be enough right there. Now what I do, I put this one, whoop, I'm getting my finger on it, okay? Now what I do is I just take this, put this on top, squeeze it really good, put pressure on it. One, two, three, four, five, okay? All right, now the reason why I'm doing this is because, like I mentioned, this is the bottom. Okay, 
So, so if any, so if anybody does this and they want to put like um, like hair ties or rubber bands or a little bit little baby dog toys or something like that, whatever it is, and you'll uh, there'll be extra weight because two pieces of cardboard are, are, are hot glued together to make it a little bit more durable. All right, so this was right this uh, I cut this as you as you know I use the I, this is one strip and the other two strips are right here but this one is the one I'm going to use okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically cut this which I already made my markings which right okay so I made my markings if you can see that I made my markings right I hope you can see that dark. There it is. I made my markings right there. Okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this all the way down. But I'm gonna, you know, like um, measure it, cut it, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually squeeze it together. But I'm gonna squeeze it to the bottom. So basically, this part here is gonna be down, down straight to the uh, table, flat to the table, and I'm actually gonna squeeze it like this. So instead of having this on top of the cardboard, which I was originally gonna do, I'm actually gonna put it. I'm gonna hot glue it. I'm gonna hot glue it on the sides of the cardboard. Take a ruler. And now this. Now you bring my two bottoms I have. Okay. Roll it like this. You can see I'm not gonna see how it overlaps. Okay. I mean that's fine. Okay. I mean it's absolutely fine to do it that way. All right. And now what I can do is I have to actually cut a little bit more off because it's actually still overlapped right here. So I have you know, trying to make it as good as I can because right here it was actually overlapping a little bit. Oops, we'll cut just a little bit extra off. Like I said, it's hard to do this exactly straight because of the way the cardboard is. And and all right so it's, okay see right here okay so what i'm gonna do put this like put this like this and i'm gonna try to hold it as best as i can see just like that okay and then what, now, and what i can do see i can actually hug it a little bit more I mean, if it overlaps a little bit, I mean, it ain't gonna hurt it. It's really not because it just it'll probably overlap a little bit on the bottom, but I don't think it's gonna overlap on the top. Okay. So now what I need to do is I need to take hot glue and hot glue all this all around. Is not helping, or some reason that the I guess we call dark light or dark or something. It's not helping it. So let me make sure it's good. It's not overlapped. Everything's all good. Like I said, it's not gonna be perfect. I could try to get as best I can. Now I just take the hot glue, put it like this, all in here. See, just like this. Like this, see, just like this. Just, just readjust my finger just a little bit so I don't get my finger hot glued. Not that it's gonna burn me. Oh, now another stick. Stick alert. Or, well, hot glue stick here. Put it in like that. I keep like that. Okay. Wipe off any extra. Okay, now what I do is I just basically hold this. Okay, hold it on just like this until it is, till it's dry. So this is all dry right here. Maybe a little bit more. This looks like I missed a spot right there. Okay. And it overlapped just a little bit here. But what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put hot glue all along here. I'm going to mend or do it right. Like that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put this together. Okay, just like this.
but the high temp is nice for cardboard and all the bigger stuff. All right, so now that I got that done, okay, so now, and, see, looks like inside, it's all mended nice and, and the bottom. So I have to make the rim, okay, to fit on top of the container. So I'm gonna use this one right here. So now what I need to do is take the hot glue gun, okay. <sighs> so now what I need to do is I need to, I need to, I need to, I have a little, I now I have a little access. Okay, so now, yeah. Now I have a little access right here. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a pen, either pen or pencil, all right? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in the inside of here and, or I can go on the outside, okay? See where, see, see where this one starts and this, or see where this one, yes, this one starts and this ends. So you want to just do it right like like this. I mean really really carefully and you just basically just trim off. Okay. And now now, now I just uh, hot glue the rest. Just like this. Okay. And I go ahead and I just do it this way. like this yep. there we go okay now that I waited for a little while for the hot glue to dry now it is dry now all I have to do is put a little hot glue okay where the two seat where the two pieces of cardboard come together okay right there and then this little be and then this little be done for now That. Now I go ahead and I put it together like this. Okay. Again, the, the hot glue isn't that hot. I mean, I mean it's hot, but not hot enough. So if anybody does this and you get hot glue on you, just try to get it off real quick and or just just be careful. Get the excess off. Okay. So as of now, this is now this one's now done for now. Now the next step that I need to do is I need to make feet. Um, there is two different ways of doing of making these feet. You, you can either use a box a boxed wrench Okay, uh, for people that don't know this is the closed end. This is the open end. Okay and This right here is a coffee creamer container Okay, like I showed you in the beginning of the video. Okay, this is the this is a, co a, co a coffee cre coffee creamer container It does this what you want to do is you want to cut, all right, measure, okay, me measure the thickness, the width, uh, measure the width from, from this side to this side to this, uh, to the size that you want, okay? Then what you do is you basically curl it. Here, I'm going to take it apart and show you, okay? Because all it is is just painter's tape holding it on, okay? So, see, that's what it looks like. And then what you do is you measure the piece that you want. You cut the piece. And then you basically do this. Now you can do it this big, and then whatever size you want, you take the, you take the piece of tape, and you basically just put tape on it like that, smush it down with your two fingers, just to, to I get just to keep it uh, for extra strength, okay. And then what you do is fold it a little bit, bend it. Like I said, it won't be perfect. It won't be perfect. Just want to let everybody know that. Okay, now what I do is I take a piece of ta painter's tape. Okay, now you could do this, it's very easy to do. Take a piece of tape. Okay, now what I do, hold a piece of tape like this. And now I take this and I put it on top of it. Okay, like this. And I basically set it down fl uh, flat, just like this. 
okay it's on the cardboard okay now if you have uh, like vegetable oil WD-40 liquid wrench okay um, or WD-40 if I didn't say that if I did sorry you take a little bit okay and at this rate this what's in this cap is a uh, liquid wrench okay so what I'm gonna do before I before I put the lubrication inside of this and there's a reason why I'm gonna do this I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller okay again I do just do it right like that and then I go ahead and squeeze it in squeeze the tape down make sure it sticks really good this would call round stoppers or, or or sliders or whatever you want to call them okay you can use any size this is the closed end wrench so if anybody doesn't know this this is the closed end wrench this is the open end wrench okay you can use any size you want okay doesn't make a difference but the bigger the size the more hot glue you're going to use the smaller the size, obviously, the less hot glue you're going to use. So, what I'm going to, so right now, okay, as I showed you before, okay, this is from this piece right here I made is from a coffee, uh, coffee creamer container. Is you can use liquid wrench, WD 40, oil, and this cap is liquid wrench. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my finger, not a lot, and I'm going to coat the inside of this, okay, coat the inside of it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, a piece of tape, okay, put it right like this, okay, and I'm going to put it down on the, put it down on, the, on my table and push down to make sure it's really good, okay. Now, so right there, so that's what we got, okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this up with hot glue. I'll show you. Just like that. Okay, just like that okay now you noticed how it was actually almost round now it's actually now it's actually not as round so you just have to do that push down on it and there you go okay actually looks like the tape came off anyway all right it's it's still good okay yeah it's still good <laughs> All right. So all I do is let that. All I have to do is let that dry. First, the sliders, whatever you want to call them, to the bottom of the container. Okay, um, for extra support. Okay. Um, there's a, there's also another way you can do it. If you have a water bottle, okay, you know, uh, like a like a great value water bottle, uh, the Sony bottle, okay, any of those caps, as long as long as they're all the same size. Okay, that when you you can pour hot glue in here, up the hot glue piece that's already dried in here out, you can use the whole entire thing to do this. Now, this right here, now I wanted to experiment and experiment failed. I had it complete circle and the tape was holding it together. Well, the hot glue actually was so hot it made the it made the made the round the round white piece hot and uh, the tape came apart or came off actually. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm either gonna I'm gonna have to um, wait till this dries. It'll still work. It just wait till this dries, and then all I have to do is unpeel it, okay? You know, unpeel it, and then take it out, do another one. But before I do the second one, I just want to um, do it up a little bit better. Okay, so I let the uh, hot glue harden, okay, inside of the piece I told you I made. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to unpeel it. Peel it. Yep, there goes one right there. So that's what it is. So all I have to do is uh, do some tr uh, do some trimming to make everything even. And then, um, yeah, then I can make another one. So let me take a pair of is I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this end of the wrench that's closed and I'm gonna do the same thing as I did to this this but this one I'm gonna do okay so what I'm gonna do is take 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 my little oil a little bit okay make sure it's clean put a little bit of oil in there now what the oil does is it helps um it helps uh, once the hot glue fully cures okay and you have the tape back here and it fully cures and you take the tape off 
the take the tape off the back, and then you and then you take your thumb, and you keep pushing like this, okay? And it makes it makes really good um, sliders. Like, oh, what I'm gonna do is take this piece of tape, okay? Wipe off the excess oil, put this like this, okay? Now, like I said, you can use this with any size box wrench you want. Bigger, the bigger the box wrench, the more hot glue you're going to use. Okay, so this one I made, okay, again, out of this, I'm going to use for the top of my container. All right, so now I need to do is get a, I need to use, use the tape here to make, it, to make it even, right about like that. Okay, make sure it's flush. Okay. Yep, make sure it's flush. Now, take the hot glue. Pour hot glue in here. Okay. Now what I do is I usually, um, I check see if it's level. It's a little bit. So I might have to use a little bit more glue. The hot glue right there. Okay. Okay, now that's a little too high. Piece of cardboard as well. And what I do is Okay. What I do is I take the cardboard and I just go along this just like this and see it takes the access glue uh takes the access hot glue off. So now it's level. And that's what you want, level. So all I have to do is wait till, the, wait till this dries, okay, and then take it out. All right, so the hot glue that I poured into the uh, closed end, the closed end of the box wrench. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel the I'm going to peel the painter's tape off of it like that. Now I can now I can reuse this tape. Okay, now what I'm going to do? Take your thumb and you pop it through, and voila. Voila, just like that, okay? And then all you have to do is take the scissors and just do a little bit of trimmings, okay, to get, to get, to get the access off that you don't need, or the known that I don't need, like this. And oh, a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna now, I'm gonna put that one right here, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try this method again, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a piece. Now this is a little piece of aluminum tape, okay? You get aluminum tape like at uh, uh, like any um, Ace Hardware, Walmart, I believe, uh, Target, anywhere that has like uh, I guess what you call a home improvement section, okay? Um, or if you have any on hand, it's even better, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a piece. And I'm gonna I'm gonna actually cut an, another another piece off right here. But then what I'm gonna do, okay, and I'm gonna cut and cut it right like that. And I'm gonna get this on peeled. Now peeling these things can be a little bit of a pain in the butt because of the way it up. I don't know, I'm actually kind of shocked it actually came apart this time. And the other time I do it, it takes like 20 minutes. You know, just just to uh, get on peel or peel uh, on peel apart. So I'm gonna just stick it right there, just find where it is. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna cut this shorter. So I'm gonna cut it right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the, take this aluminum tape. Now I'm gonna try using this way to um. Oh, how do I say? Uh, I'm gonna try this way to see if the aluminum tape will stay on, because if if since the painter's tape actually came apart when when the hot glue was poured inside, okay, so it came apart. So I want to try to use aluminum tape to do the same thing. Okay, now, now if aluminum tape peels off, okay, then obviously it ain't gonna work. So take take my painter's tape back, okay. Put that right here like so okay now, now see as i'm doing it see now the painter's tape is starting to come up come up or the painter's tape the aluminum tape is starting to come apart now all right 
Yeah, like I said, it may, it may work or it may not work. If it doesn't work, I'm not worried about it too much. Because, like I said, I mean, nothing and nothing's guaranteed. But now I'm going to try to just put it on here again. Push down on it. Okay. Just push down and make sure it's good. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take... Well, I should have put the oil on it first. But since I didn't, it's okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do it this way. I'm going to hold it like this. Put some oil inside. Okay. Get it nice and coated. All right. Just like this. Make sure it's on there really good. Oh, don't flip it over there, there, dude. Flip it like that. Okay. I'm going to take the hot glue. And I'm going to start filling this up. And I want to see, I want to see if the... I want to see if the, if the aluminum tape is going to hold more. Oh, and it came apart. Okay, so that's that's. It. I wasn't I wasn't counting on that doing it, but Santa did it. Okay, this is the, so the aluminum tape is a fail. Okay, so it ain't gonna work. Okay. All right. So since the aluminum tape failed as well, so that that's pretty much done. So I'm not gonna bother taking the, taking this hot glue out. I'm just gonna. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get another piece of tape and I'm just going to use my open box then wrench. Okay. So do this. Okay. I'm going to take... Go like that. Take a little bit of oil. Coat the inside like this. Okay. Sure, it's even. Okay, now I'll go ahead and pour. A little bit more. I don't want to do too much. Okay, we could too much, but then again, as I'm as I'm squirting hot glue into the uh, closed box, closed end, okay, what it does, it actually self levels, which I'm actually kind of, it's pretty cool that, that it does do that. Okay, do just a little bit more. Like that. Okay, see if it levels. What I'm looking right at now, seems to be leveling. Okay, so it leveled. It just didn't level enough. It didn't level enough, so I'm gonna just take it just like that. There we go. Now, now, now it's all leveled. So as it, so pretty much as I poured the hot glue in, and it actually went a little too high. So then I took a piece of cardboard, which you just saw. There we go. So now I do is wait for that to dry. This dried. So now this is ready. To, now this is ready. Now this will be the second one. Okay. Set the tape right there without without me without following me here. <laughs> okay. Now the oil. Remember the oil is inside of the wall here. Ready? So I do is just basically just push it. See? Push it through. And there it goes. So all I have to do is just go ahead and take my scissors and trim the access off. Okay, so there's the second one. Okay, so now I put this one right there. So I still need three more. Okay, now. I want to try one more thing because I don't give up on things. Okay, so I want to try one more thing. I want to try taking a piece of this off and I want to actually go inside of it like this. So, what I want to do is put this right there. Okay, so put this inside like you see here and I want to go completely around it like this. Okay, like this. I want to see what's going to happen. If it still comes off, I'm not giving up. I believe it'll work. Okay. It's just some reason that the, when the hot glue, the, the hot glue is so hot that it, 
that it just makes the tape gooey and it comes apart. Friendly? Friendly. Haha, <laughs> my new word, friendly. <laughs> I don't know what friendly means. I have to look it up on, I have to look it up. All right, now I go ahead and do the same thing. Push down on it like this. Okay, hold, squeeze it to squeeze the tape, make sure the tape's good. Okay, take a little bit of oil again. Coat the inside of it like so. That. My shirt's old. My shirt's old. I see it's starting to slowly come apart. There. Now. Okay, here comes the moment of truth. Okay. Whoop. Moment of truth. Okay, let me see if it'll, all right, it needs to go up a little bit more. All right, right there. Okay, pick that up. So if you can see that right there, okay, pick the camera up and show you. Sorry about that, I'm trying to do it without making a, see if you see it right there. It looks like, it looks like it's gonna hold. Looks like it, could change, but all right, so right there, okay. Uh, so make another one using the box wrench. So I'm gonna take a little bit of oil. Okay, like I said, it doesn't have to be a. I mean, it doesn't have to be a whole lot. Okay. And I need to take a piece of tape. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to try to find. Um, try to find more more water bottle caps like this so that's why i'm using the boxed wrench because the boxed wrench to me is a little easier for right now until i can find more of these so i'm going to do another one completely settles which it looks like it's settling no it's settling okay keep in there because i'm planning on doing a lot more projects like this of this one after this one dries and so far yeah and so far this right here so far this one right here is actually holding up yep that's holding up so it's holding up pretty good I can't believe this. I can't believe this. Look what I found. I found more caps. <laughs> I think that. <laughs> I can't believe I'm laughing. That's so funny. Here I am talking about it. I'm like, oh, I guess I got to get more. Well, I had them. I had them all. I had them after all. Okay, so this this is pretty much dry. Take it off. Like so. I'm gonna leave this right here so I can. Whoop, I can reuse it. Pop this through, and there you go. So that makes one, two, three. Now I need to make two more. So, that like that. Take my oil, just a little bit of oil. Coat the inside of the, coat the inside of it. Put it, fl put it flat, uh, flat flat down like so I make sure on exactly like that okay now I take the hot glue still can't believe I found all those bottle caps well I guess I'll see people say you live and learn Level. 
there, okay. Yep. All right, so it pretty much dried. Now I'm gonna go ahead and peel the blue painter's tape off. Okay. Okay, now this can, now the blue painter's tape can be reused, which is good. Set that aside. Now, pop it through. I'm gonna give a little bit of a oomph, but it'll pop through. There it goes. And there it goes. Another one. How I do is I take the scissors and just do a little bit of trimming. Okay, so there it is. You can see that right there. So now that's more. Take a little bit of uh, oil, coat the inside. Okay, take the uh, blue painter's tape, do the same thing. Okay, set that down like this. Because what happens is, is it self-levels itself. It's actually kind of cool that it does that. It just takes a little time to do that. Okay. Take a piece of cardboard, go across. Uh, you can use a utility knife to do it, you know, just the blade itself. Um, you can use a, a popsicle stick, also will work too to, le to, uh, to level it. Now, now, okay, now, now we're all good. Now we just let that dry. Okay, so this looks about to be dried. I'm gonna take it off. Okay, now there. Okay, now I have to push it out. Sometimes it goes, sometimes it does come out a little, you know, sometimes I have to push it through a little hard so it will go. But when it does, there we go. See, doesn't even hurt the uh doesn't even hurt the wrench at all. I do a little bit of trimming. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do now. Okay, let me bring this cam. Okay, so all right. So I got all my okay, so I got I got my so one, two, so I got one, two, three, four, five. All right, I got all five knob. I call it knobs then, knob from my top. Okay, so now before I go ahead and before I go ahead and, and hot glue, okay, this to this, take these off, set this aside, I'll do spray paint this. Okay, and I'm gonna spray paint it. Um, this is Rust Oleum American Accent, uh, ass, ass, I think Accents, two times ultra gloss. Uh, this is actually gloss grape. Take the cap off now i don't have to wear, i don't think i'm gonna have to wear gloves because what i'm gonna do is I'm, um well I, mm, yeah i think maybe i should because i'm gonna spray paint it so what i'll probably end up doing is spray paint it here first then put my arm in here like so and then i'll spray paint the other end so then i can spray paint the, this too so let me go down here put this here put that right on top of there and then Okay, so now that, now that this one's all dried and set, or dried done, now I have to do this. And... Alright, now what I can do, stick my arm in a rest. See, now I can... Now I can and it's also... And now, um, uh, also, uh, there's actually waterproofing uh, paint. Um, there's, I guess, Gorilla 
waterproofing uh, uh, waterproofing paint it's like a clear coat I guess and you can spray it on like cardboard um, I guess all a bunch of different stuff you know that, that if you plan on putting out so, you know if I'm gonna plan on putting outside or something like that um, and I guess waterproof it or something so one of these days I'm gonna have to um, get some waterproof spray paint and do another project like this not the same one but do a, do a different size or something and then do the same thing but this time use bottle caps <laughs> which now I have I just got to get a lot more and then go ahead and do the whole thing up and then when I spray paint I could actually take uh, waterproofing and actually go over the spray paint that's you know and then uh, hopefully it'll waterproof it so yeah okay so it's okay looks good So now I'm gonna let that dry. I'm gonna let, I'm going to let this dry. See that? Okay. I have to do the bottom next, but I'm gonna let I'm gonna let the outer dry here, and then uh, and then I'll let the cap and I'll let the I'll let the cap dry as well. All right. So now that the side the whole the, the side all around is all dried, now I'm gonna go ahead and spray paint the bottom. That's all done. The last step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hot glue, okay, these um, these feet, I guess I call feet, okay? I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, and one in the middle. All right, so as I do this, I'm going to make sure that the, um, that everything is, everything is pretty much level, which it doesn't look like it. Okay, so this one's on now. We need we got a hot glue gun. Now what we do is the the part that had the tape on it, okay, is gonna be facing upward. And the part, okay, it looks like a, it looks like a uh, like almost like a um like a bowl, okay, that's gonna go downwards. So what I'm gonna do, take this, hot glue it. Okay, put one right there, and it is lightning out here. Boy, is it ever. Okay, another one. Okay, now remember, there's going to be a total of five that I did since I fell the bottle caps. There. Whoops, cord. I wish there was. A, I should have got a, when I when I bought this hot glue gun. I should have got a cordless. Some people some people say cordless is actually better. Or yeah, cordless is better than cord. All right, there we go. So there there's my five feet. Now we have to take the part with the tape or with the um the part that the, had the tape on it is going to be facing down for the for the top of the lid. So I'm going to do this, that's all I need. Now we go ahead and do this. Make sure it's nice and centered as best as I can. Push down and so that's done. Now it shouldn't take that long to dry. So I'm going to flip this one over now. It sits just a little weird. It sits just a little um, crooked, but it's okay. Now we put our lid and everybody can see that voila yep here is the finished product minus the um the hot glue string see bottom okay see all five that's done round it lid see pull the lid off and i could i could put um light stuff in there now this one i was gonna this i did say i was gonna explain why i put one of these top present are these uh feet i call them feet okay on the bottom so that way whatever i put inside of this container cardboard container actually um if i have any excess weight down the bottom remember i did i glued two round 
cardboards together. Okay, then, then I, you know, then I glued this on the side of it. Okay, on the side as you see. Okay, so whenever I put any, not heavy, heavy, but if I put little, if I put a little bit heavier things in here, but not too extreme. Okay, the weight, this right here will stop. This right here will stop it from blowing from blowing out to the bottom. And that's all there is. See, all there is. See, the same thing like that now the reason why i didn't paint inside because i don't really care about the inside i just care about the outside let's put it on and voila the finished product well everybody uh that's it for this video um i actually i actually do i actually really like the way it turned out i'm actually kind of impressed and happy with my, i'm happy with it um now i could do a lot more different sizes different colors and now that i have bottle caps i found them now all i have to do is uh put hot glue I, i'm not gonna even tell you i'm not gonna tell you I keep everybody in suspense so anyway that's it for this video i hope you like this video if you do smash that like button also if you have a comment about this video please leave it down below and don't forget uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and if there's any new viewers don't forget to hit that subscribe button so when I post a new video, you'll be notified. Till next video, peace.